Hey friends, welcome back to another vlog. Today's uh, Monday. It is the day after I did my, the weekend after I redid my dining room. And then I, as I told you in my last video, I was gonna do the finishing touches in the next video. So that is this one. Um, yeah, today I'm gonna redo, or not redo, I'm gonna do, finish up the dining room. So this vlog isn't gonna be like a typical day in the life, but it's gonna be finishing the things that need to be finished in here. I'm gonna do some decorating. Uh, I'm gonna finish my hutch. I probably am gonna also take down like the things in my kitchen, my shelves, and probably my July 4th decor, just because I wanna kind of like start fresh and like figure out where everything is gonna go. It is just mid-July, so I, you know, have a while before spring, I mean, before fall decorating. I usually keep my July 4th up all summer, but because I'm gonna be figuring out, you know, what's gonna go on the hutch and all that, I'm just gonna start the shelves, you know, just start over with a blank slate. So I have way too much decor. What I need to do is take a lot to be donated because I have way too much. Like, I always think I'm gonna pull it out, I'm gonna use it sometime, and I just don't. So, probably need to make a box to donate, but, that is going to be the gist of this video is organizing, decorating. I am going to, I've decided, I need to get that text. I've decided that I'm going to put my, um, you know, desk, things around my desk, like my bills, things like that, things I need to get to, my planner, things uh, like that. I'm going to put them down here for now. Of course, if we are to rearrange rooms in the house eventually and I have an office, that's where it will go. But for now, it'll go there and then I have two drawers too. So, because right now, everything is right there, and it's driving me insane. So, I have got to do something. I'm, I'm already like going, oh gosh, I, I feel like everything is in disarray. So anyway, that is going to be what this video is about. So if you want to see that, stick around. We got lots to do. All right, the first thing I plan to do is to cut this um, contact paper, and I'm going to line the drawers. And I'm going to line the bottom of this. I know I said this in the last video, but I'm going to line this with it just on the bottom and then the drawers. I did clean these drawers and this doesn't come off, but I figure putting contact paper over it will be good. And then the plan is to put it along the back here, but I'm not 100% sold on that. But the good thing is I can always take it off if I don't like it. I thought about putting like like painting it white and doing Sharpie shiplap on this, or I have some of the beadboard left over from when we did our kitchen, so I thought maybe I could put some of that along the back. That'd be really pretty. I have to see if I like the, I don't want it to be too white. I also was thinking like with like say fall decor, would that look weird with the green and white? I'm not sure. So the, e the good thing is I can easily take it off if I don't like it. Felt I'm done with the defense Drove back and climbed over your fence Had to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders I'm closed off, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not Living in the past that I'm feeling it tonight Riding on the dizzying heights Riding on the dizzying heights I felt like Nothing could stop us Sunsets, remember the colors They were wrong It was way more than a dream we climbed up yeah, over the hillside. Okay, so that was so hard <laughs> And it's not perfect And it's gonna drive me crazy There's little tiny bubbles Oh my word, that was Very difficult So, let's see I do love it I do love it. I just, uh, I'm not sure long term, but I love gingham and plaid. Like it's, I love, love it. And that color is my favorite. So I don't know. 
we'll leave it for a while. Probably change it up eventually. I had to pull my hair up. I was sweating so bad. I'm just trying to put that one piece in. Lord have mercy. So I kind of got a bunch left over. I'm going to cut a big piece for the bottom and then I'm done with this dumb contact paper for now. July 4th things I have in here. Hopefully my creative juices will start flowing. Okay, so in the kitchen I took the less is more approach like I was saying in my video before when I showed you my kitchen these shelves just don't quite inspire my I don't know inspire me so I've struggled but I did less this time we'll see we'll see how I like it and then over here you know just a couple things I'll change them up as I always do but right now I'm I took down you know on my July 4th so I'm gonna go out on my porch real quick and just pull down the few things I have there, the dogs weren't for wanting in. I've got to make dinner and then I'm going to, um, oh, sorry for all the different, different lighting. Um, after I make dinner, then I'm going to style the hutch. I have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to do. The hutch is definitely going to be busy. It's not going to be as bare as these, um, but I have the doors I can close and I don't know. I've wanted a hutch for so long and I'm probably going crazy with how I'm going to decorate it, but I will change that up too because fall is coming. It'll be full of fall stuff and then Christmas stuff and, you know, it'll be changing very frequently. <laughs> so I'm going to make dinner. Oh wait, I'm going to go out and bring in my um, July 4th stuff and then I'm going to make dinner. I'm going to make pot roast casserole. Pot, is that what it's called? Pot roast casserole? And it is a 
Betty Crocker recipe. I think I'll link it down below. I do have a video on it. I'll try to remember to link that video too. But I have a recipe playlist and I also have a, what is it? Cook with me, I guess, playlist. So if you're ever wondering about a recipe and I say, oh, I have a video on that, look in those playlists. I always try to put them in the playlist so you can find them easily. But it's super easy. I don't use pot roast. I just use ground beef and put it all together, bake it, which probably wasn't the best day to bake something because it is like 90 something degrees outside. But anyway, that is for dinner. So I'm gonna do that and then we will style the hutch. and that has to cook for 40 minutes so while that's cooking I'm gonna go ahead and style my table and my um, hutch I did already figure out like where I want everything to go might tweak it a little bit but hopefully it will look right it's gonna like I said it the hutch is gonna have a lot more on it than these shelves in here but um at 8 o'clock our show comes on and right now the current currently the cable and internet are both down I don't know why Comcast has a an outage but it better be up by eight o'clock that's all I can say so this is really white and then the obviously and the um, green and white is like that teal color that I love and the table is white and the chairs are black so I wanted to like pull some of the black over here so that you know it goes together I don't want this just to be all light like pastels and stuff so I tried to go around my house and find things that I had that were black that would um, you know pull in the black so this is you, if you've watched my channel, you know it's been on my wall over by my recliner forever. Got it at Hobby Lobby a long time ago, $14.99. And I thought this would be the perfect thing. So I'm gonna put this on the top. And also I really wanted to bring in some galvanized things because I thought that would sort of contrast all the white. And this is my July 4th one. I actually did this with the Cricut Life, Love, Liberty, but I'm just gonna turn it around and put some greenery in it and I love the greenery and the black and white together love it and then this is just an old candlestick that I really love how weathered it looks I got it at Ross I don't know if I'll keep it right here but for now that is where it is gonna go so I have these two pictures that have been over there too by my recliner and I like that they're I like the brown frames I thought it would contrast with the white too and you know I love to decorate with photographs so I had to put some on here so I am no professional hutch styler <laughs> in fact I looked up videos on Pinterest to get ideas on how to style a hutch because it's overwhelming me but I knew I wanted something like high you know not just low stuff so I thought that my little windmill would be cute to put like back here to make it you know Give it a little height and then I got this at Hobby Lobby if you remember back in the spring it is beautiful and for some reason I had put it in my basement in a box and I was like why is this down here it's beautiful so I'm not gonna put greenery in it because you won't really see it when the doors are shut so it's just gonna be like this 
And now, if you've been around a while, you know that I've mentioned a few times that I collect little birds, like ceramic birds. I don't like collect them, but I do. <laughs> I mean, I have like, you know, eight of them, but I, anytime I am like at a home goods or a, at home or something, I always look for really cute ones. This is one of my favorites, but I finally have a little place that I could maybe put them. So I'm gonna just like put them throughout this and I don't know, maybe in the winter I'll take them down, but for now, that's, that's what I'll do. So this is a cute piece. I think I got this at the Christmas tree shop years ago, but it was in my kitchen and I thought this would bring in the black like I was saying, and it would also be kind of tall, so it's perfect for my hutch. And then this is a bucket that I got at Hobby Lobby a while back, and it used to have little fake eggs in it, but I just took some towels. One of you suggested that, roll up some towels and put them in a basket, but I also saw it on Pinterest and I thought it was so cute. So I just put these towels in here and rolled them up. I'll put that over here. And this is my beautiful little, what do they call it? Cloche? Cloche, I think. And I got this at Home Goods, $9.99 a few years ago. It's super heavy, but I was, thinking it wouldn't fit inside of here, but it does. So I finally have a cute place to, to display this. I think it's so cute, but it's never looked right where I had it. And then of course I've got to have some greenery. So just in a galvanized bucket. Put that in there. And I love that next to the black and white. And then I'm just gonna fill in with some more of my ceramic birds, just filling in the little spaces. This is one of my favorites too. I got it at Hobby Lobby. I love the little legs on it. So on this little um, ledge, it's got a lip on it, so I can't, um, I wanted to maybe put something right here in the middle, but I'm gonna have to do smaller things just because of the edge. But um, I got have had this basket in my kitchen and I just took my kitchen towels that I'm always using and I usually kept them them on top of my microwave in a white basket, but I thought this would be cute. Get it off the microwave. I'm just gonna stick these right here. And that basket fits perfectly right there. And then I have this beautiful bowl that I got from Home Goods. I love it. And I've used it as a fruit bowl and for decor, but I thought it'd be pretty over here. Just have a black and white uh, nap, uh, hand towel. And then I have this little plant that I thought I'd just stick inside of it. Let's see. I need to get more white dishes. Like maybe I'll go to Goodwill and find some cute white dishes. And I'd love to get like a few cutting boards to display too. And then you probably all recognize this. It's been under my TV forever and ever and ever. I got it at Dollar Tree a long time ago. And it's the black and white, so I'll put it right there. It fits perfectly. And last but not least, I got this a couple years ago at Target and I love it. And I don't really display it usually, but I thought it would be really cute right here on this door. So there it is with the doors shut. And it is busy, it is full, but I love it. I think it's nice to have all of the decor kind of contained right here so it doesn't, you know, there's nothing on the wall. It doesn't make it look too busy, I don't think, but I like busy walls and stuff. I need to, um, mo there's like paint and dust and all kinds of stuff on the floor. I still need to clean that up. But I think it turned out really, really pretty. And I love these knobs that I chose show you a close-up this is gonna be so fun to decorate this uh, holiday season like seriously so fun little pumpkins everywhere <gasps> can't wait black and white and green is my favorite combo <laughs> so for the table if you let me move you up here if you watched my spring decor home decor haul back in like April, I bought this tray from Hobby Lobby, I think. <laughs> it doesn't have the tag on it, but I got this because I knew I wanted a round table for my dining room at some point. So, so I picked this up and I was using it on my other table and then I've just been using it in my kitchen, but 
now that I have my round table and it's black and white, it's perfect. So I'm gonna put this on this table now. And then this is the old utensil holder I've had forever and ever, and I just love the color of it. I can't get rid of it, I love it. So um, I usually use it just for uh, like a base. So this is the greenery that I love from Hobby Lobby. They're $8, but when you get them on half off, they're four. And they just, they're beautiful, they're my favorite. So I'm just gonna stick those in there. I've had this all over my house too. I like how this pulls in the blue that's all over the house. It's a darker blue, but I love it. I love the different shades of blue. And then this is just a little house that I got from Hobby Lobby, I think, and I've used it lots of different places. Stick that there. And then of course my Paula Deen napkin holder has to go over here too. So. So as far as wall decor, I haven't exactly figured that out. I do. I am going to go to my white paint and paint that. And then my black and white, give us to stay our daily bread sign, is going to go in here because obviously the black and white I love. But I need to find something that's like long that can maybe go at the bottom. So I need to go out and try to figure out what will go with it. Or like I don't want it just on the wall by itself. i got to figure it out. So... But that is gonna go in here. And then also my sign that my daughter-in-law made me for Christmas. This is gonna go on the wall over here by the hutch, I believe, on the side wall. So I think I want something to put by this too. I just have some of these pictures that I want to put in frames that I got that I ordered from the wedding so um, I just haven't done it yet so I'm gonna use these as decor too. I don't know for sure if I'll keep that picture there just because it's right next to these and it's pretty big for up there I don't know I gotta decide though <laughs> but I really love it it's like my favorite picture of all four of the kids well it's my sec well yeah this is only three of them this is one of my all-time favorites but that was before Jackson I thought about making that into a gallery wall I think that might be kind of pretty I don't know like I don't know. <laughs> I've had this gallery wall here forever and ever. I can't even remember when I did it. But it's just, it's a big wall and it's, you know, a lot of white. Might break it up with some a small gallery wall on it. Maybe, maybe some pictures. I don't know. But I did put this one over here. So, so it is Monday night and I'm going to sit down and watch our show. Cable's back up. I'm going to finish this up tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. But it'll be tomorrow for me. We're going to finish up this wall and put all my desk stuff under the hutch. So after I do that, this dining room makeover is finished. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, friends, it is the next day and it is dinner time. I'm actually about to go make dinner, but I'm so tired. I have been trying to figure out this decor situation you can see behind me all day long. Besides running a few errands, this is what I've done. And I am exhausted. Like mentally physically i'm so tired i like seriously need a nap <laughs> it's just stressful I, as i told you before i wanted to maybe redo this gallery wall area i have so many wedding pictures they were just overtaking the house and so so i'm going to go ahead and show you what i have come up with and what i still need to do and hopefully in this video 
Oh, this lighting. Hopefully in this video we'll get it figured out. So, you know, I've had a gallery wall up here for a long time. And there was a video, I will try to link it in the description box, when I put these pieces of wood up here a few years ago. While I love the look of it, it is not practical for hanging things on the wall because, you know, they just those things get in the way. And so I'm kind of limited to what I can put up here. So I thought I kind of wanted to clear it out and maybe just leave it like that. So I do have this table here that Marion built me and I never really used the bottom shelf, but I thought I'd put a few things there. And then since I have so many framed pictures, I thought it might be cute to just like put them on shelves and try to bunch them together. I need to fix this one. It's a little crooked, but um, it's kind of, you know, they're pretty crowded in there. So, but I tried to make it to where you could actually like see all the pictures. And then I'm, I'm going to leave this here because I really like that. But I think for the rest of this wall that has been my gallery wall for years that I think I'm going to leave it open. I don't know, for now at least. And then of course I have the two big wedding pictures over there. So that is this side. That is what I have come up, come up with at the moment. I moved this chair because I was standing up there getting down tacks and nails. And then up here I'm really struggling. This is not, this is not looking, this is kind of the in between. <laughs> I have a bunch of pictures that I really want to use. I just don't want to put them away, but they're, there's a lot. So I don't, rather than putting them all on the wall, I wanted to just kind of put them on the shelf at different, uh, you know, heights and I don't know. So this is one thing I have come up with that I'm struggling with. I love this sign and I have to figure out what I'm going to put with it. But other than that, I think this is the only thing that's going to go on this wall. I just want to leave the rest of it open. Then over here is the wall that I am working on. And what I have decided is this pile of pictures is actually going to go on this wall. It's going to kind of be like the wedding kind of gallery wall. That way I don't have them all over the house. They're just kind of right here. And then of course back in the corner, the big pictures. And I think I'm just going to leave that on that wall because it's simple, but I don't like that it's so white and then the white table and like it needs something. It needs some contrast to me. So I'm going to go ahead and put um, those on this wall. After I paint them, I brought up my white paint. So I'm going to be doing that next. And then over here, I did just make a couple little changes from yesterday. This is probably not going to stay here. I just hung that right there. I put this picture over here because it was another one that I wanted to display. Not sure if it'll stay there or not. Maybe that's all I made to this, but you know, I'm still tweaking it. This right here is driving me crazy. <laughs> and then I have all this. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know. little strokes of white over where I did it because the gray was just a little different but I think it's hard to tell where I even redid it and there will be pictures on it too but that is done if you want to know how I did this I do have a video on it if you somehow missed that it's just my faux barn wood I'll link the video down below now I'm just gonna start putting these on the wall and I'm gonna just use the duct tape or the painters tape method when you just um, you know poke holes in it and then you know where you're gonna put it so Gotta figure out where this is gonna be. Well, I'll be what do you want? So I have this 
this old picture frame that my grandparents had on their wall in their house and these were like 2005 the school the kids school pictures they're hilarious so um, I'm just gonna use this frame I need to clean it um, and then just replace the pictures with some not exactly sure which ones yet but and then I have to put um, also a little hanger on here because it doesn't have one So that is how the, the gallery wall turned out and I absolutely love it. I think it's so pretty. And I'm gonna go ahead and change these curtains now but when I shift the camera over here, it's just gonna be like yellow light. It's nothing I can really do about it. But I'm gonna take these gray curtains down and I'm gonna switch them with the black ones that are hanging in my room. I think that they would look better in here, so. keep it focused down a little bit so the lighting isn't so yellow but these curtains have been in my bedroom I got these years ago at a store called the Christmas tree shop and I have have gotten so many questions about them over the years they're just like the gray ones I had in here but they're black and I have looked so many times at the store going back in there to try and find them and I cannot find them so I'm sure you know you can find stuff on Amazon like this but that's where these exact curtains came from It is finally finished. What a transformation. At the end of this video, I'll leave some before and afters. Don't forget to check those out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.